Well, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've had an SRM knife in my hands. And actually, I had it in my hands the other day when I was on the podcast with The Knife Junkie. Check out The Knife Junkie podcast on YouTube. And uh, he and I, Mr. Bob and me, we did an hour of, you know, chatting about knives and it was a lot of fun but I had this one in my hand because I was talking to him and he and I were both agreeing that you know you don't grab your $600 knife to just drag around the house and do this and that it's always the budget shooter that you put in your hand to do a lot of the hard work and you know around the house and wherever because you know this with with this nice axis type lock or crossbar lock, whatever you want to call it. And what have they done? Stay ready for more. Stay ready for more. I think that's been their, that's been their slogan now that they just started out with. And that's kind of, kind of strange. But it's an ambi lock. And you know why it's an ambi lock? Because it's ambidextrous, right? You can get it from both sides. So, yeah. So, ambidextrous on the lock ambidextrous on the clip you like these the one big thing i really really like about these srm and of course they're real steel right srm aka uh san ran mu aka real steel right so real steel is a real deal love real steel knives loved them for years been talking about them for seven years and you know what srm I believe the SRM brand kind of evolved out of San Ren Mu. San Ren Mu was more, I think, for domestic consumption in China. And then SRM was kind of a little bit of a step up. For, I mean, because back in the day, the San Ren Mu knives were like 15 bucks or, you know, 20 bucks, that kind of thing. And now they, you know, this is more their Hollywood edition for, you know, uh, the Western consumption. And you know what? This is the 25, 255L GK, okay? Doesn't have a name name that I know of, okay? And it's a 10CR15COMOV, okay? So here's what they say. Overall length, seven and a half inches, so it's okay. It's not a three and a seven. It's a 3.2 and a 7.5. 10 CR 15 C O M O V. Okay. Uh, and I've seen that 10 CR. Uh, so you got 15% chromium, and a 10 would mean probably 1% carbon, 15% chromium. So, okay. And you got molly in there and vanadium. Okay. And uh, so, okay, we're good. Um, here's the manuscript manufacturers which is the high high price uh when you buy it from knife center or white mountain or whatever it's not msrp it's map minimum advertised price and then of course white mountain if they pull these if they get these in stock then it'd be 60 something minus probably 10 percent. so it might be even in the upper 50s i don't know okay so shop around shop around but i'll give you the link to the srm website um and you know what uh this is really nice and one of the one of the really cool things about this that i was gonna tell you about before i got sidetracked by myself is this ambi clip you just squeeze this together okay check that out though kick okay mm -mm. Won't, won't, won't go anywhere okay push it together because there's a little inside track that these, these little barbs here, as you can see, click into when they go. But you want to go left hand? Any problem there? No? Nope. Okay, so how do we do that? Just like that. And all of a sudden, it's left hand. What is that? You don't even have to unscrew a screw. Whoever thought of this is a genius. I love it. I think this is uh, so easy and it's deep carry. Wow. I mean, that is so insane. Um, what is not insane is this 
and be lock because I'm not taking this damn thing apart. You know why? Because I don't want to. I, you know, you got these Omega springs on both sides and they wrap around here and they go into uh, the steel, right? Boom, boom. And they anchor there. But when you do this and you pull it apart from one side, push your pivot through, it's really fiddly getting it back together. So, no. Negatory on that. Hate to hate to break your bubble. But look at this. I mean, talk about fidget friendly. Uh, this is really, look at this. Whew. Nice bearings in there. I mean, it just, and you know what? This is light. So, I mean, I, SRM, overall, I really have liked their knives. They've done some in titanium. They've done some in other steels as well. So check SRM out. Um, they might also be on Amazon, so check that out. I think I've bought some on Amazon in the past. Two and a half ounces for a seven and a half inch knife, right? That's, I mean, that's bug out. That's bench made bug out territory, right? It's 71 grams. This does feel light. And... You know, you're getting contoured gray G10. I love G10. And this gray G10, baby, you could turn this sapphire blue in a heartbeat. You know that? And, of course, you have to disassemble it to do that. So get ready for the double uh, Omega Spring bang down that you're going to get. You're going to get a bait down fidgeting that back together. But you can do it. You can do it. But, yeah, there's... Uh, there's your standoff. It's kind of interesting um, that this is not only, you know, a lanyard area where you could put a lanyard, but also kind of a hefty looking standoff thing as you cut away at the backspacer to make room for that. That's kind of interesting that they did that. Um, but it feels solid. And wow, this is so easy. Now, will it cut anything? I mean, what do you want, man? What do you want? Oh, God, yes. Oh, wow. I mean, this is sharper than some of the $300 knives I've put under my camera. Oh, man. Well, I ain't going to hold an edge like, you know, like 15V or anything. But, uh, man, it's sure nice when it is sharp because it just tells you you can put a hell of an edge on this thing if you wanted to and you know what it won't be that difficult get your gunny juice out put it on your strop and then you know just do your thing i, I don't even want to touch it the strop it's so sharp already i don't want to ruin it i mean sometimes if you don't strop the right way you can make it worse than better but i'm just saying right now I got nothing, I've got everything to lose and nothing to win by putting it on the strop now at all. Uh, so that is She-Arp. Great little logo, maybe a little billboarding, not too bad. And yeah, I don't know if I needed all the numbers here. Uh, maybe they did, but they could have put the little 255 along here. But then again, this is a beater. This is not beauty case stuff. But the ergos are great. You got the palms. I mean, look at that. It's just a simple. I like this look of this knife. Okay. Not only is it super lightweight, but the ergos are really good on this. So if you got one of these, I mean, you may go, that's not that sexy or whatever. I actually think this design is very fetching myself. But... That feels good in the hand. That feels good in the hand. And you know what? Bingo. I mean, these ambidextrous thumb studs. Now, being that it's the ambi lock, yeah. So you never find these having a real stiff detent, right? I mean, I don't. And so, no, uh, no, it's fairly easy to kick out. But I don't find that to be annoyingly light. You know what I mean? See, it's, it's trying to go, right? It just didn't give it enough. Okay, but if it takes that, okay, it's another way to open it too, right? True one-hander, easy, breezy. 
Uh, design flow's okay, this kind of, you know, but I think it's because we're doing this, okay? Yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, it doesn't flow into the bolster. Other than that, I think blade-to-handle length is pretty efficient. No, I, I think I think it'd look better blue, but, you know, other than that, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. All right. And, uh, yes, it comes in a regular box, and this is what it says on the box in case I didn't show that before. Okay? Uh, caution. Yeah, don't give it to the kids to play with. It is sharp. It really is. So, what do you think? SRM. Check out SRM line. They have come out with some interesting knives over the last six years. Really have. And uh, so, they don't have a bunch they don't have a plethora of production of different models. They kind of come out and they stay out for a while. Uh, but um, check out my other reviews on SRM knives. There are some, there's some really interesting models. And this one's one of them. Take care, my friends. Oh, by the way, someone was knocking on the door. Oh, no, that was me. Website time. Get to that website, will you? LoveThemKnives.com. Come on, man. There's knives just waiting for you to own them. And, yes, we do. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.